Hey guys, Dimitendo here for another video about my birthday haul of stuff that I got. I got I got more stuff, obviously, but yeah, oh, hold on, hold on. So I want to tell you, I did get plushes, new plushes, new characters, but I'm not going to spoil who they are because I want y'all to guess it yourself, but I did get new plushes. And trust me, you're going to be in for a surprise when you see them in next year's episodes of the Super Plush Mario Brothers. Um, that's my second channel on YouTube, so definitely go check it out. I'll link it in the description, but um, just check it out when you have the chance, when you're free. I also have a website that launched for it, so I'll also put that in the description too, if you want to check it out. Now, let's let's begin now. All right, so first up, I went over to my video game shops, not GameStop, because GameStop kind of sucks with this type of stuff. You know how much I love Toys to Life, guys, because I literally played Skylanders on this channel, and I literally showed Disney Infinity. You know how much I love Toys to Life. Dimensions, Skylanders, Infinity, not really. I just actually found it at the store, so I just wanted to review it just to, you know. But I could care less about that one. I like Amiibos, Skylanders, and Dimensions. If y'all wanted to know. And so I found Lego Dimensions ACU Trooper at the Game Over Video Games shop. I think this was the first stop. Like my closest one. And it had um, Mr. Electric Shocker. ACU Trooper from Jurassic World. You kind of see like the little symbol. But basically, I don't know what he does in-game. Again, I have to wait because my mom has to buy me the game. Or she is going to. She told me she's going to buy the game on Amazon for the Wii U again. So, I'm going to have the portal. And I have the characters. And I'll see how he works out whenever I get the game again. For Skylanders, this was also at the first stop. I found Dive Clops from Skylanders. I also found an Earth Creation Crystal. And... Um, I believe, yeah, it was Earth Creation Crystal and something else. I forgot what it was. Dang, was it another Skylanders item? I forgot. I literally forgot what it was. No, it was a Dimensions thing, right? No, it, it was. No. I'm guessing. I'm just guessing at this point. Um. But, yeah, there was an Earth Creation Crystal there, and I should have probably gotten it, actually, if I'd known I was going to get this many figures. I was probably... I should have just gotten the creation crystal. But I did get Dive Clops, and he is from Skylanders Supercharged. There was also, yeah, I just remembered. The Sky Slicer vehicle from Supercharged was also there. Um, basically, Dive Clops is a water element Skylander, and he basically is an eyeball with heavy suit armor on, and he's based on, like, a submarine or something like that, I believe. I don't know. Um, but he's based on one of those, like, helmets that the... the ocean people are basically yep and they said he's like one of the most powerful characters in the game so i'm glad i got him it's only five dollars and then we got at our second stop i believe we got um free ranger um and he's from skylander swap force so he's one of the swappable skylanders and basically yeah his top and bottom can be swapped with another character that has that same punch like blast zone wash buckler you, you guys know swap force if you know it you know if you don't just look it up after the video but this guy is pretty cool as a character even if you don't know what franchise he's from he's like a uh, angry bird type of thing he has white eyes and electric bolt for hair and he has like a little slicing li little slicers i don't know what to call those and he can make a tornado so that's pretty cool i think He's, he looks awesome. I like his little smirk there. And both his eyes are like different and he's like smirking. So that's pretty cool. Last but not least, Duck Hunt, the iconic duo from Super Smash Bros. 4 to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Alright, so Duck Hunt is pretty cool. And I'm glad we actually get to see the full bird's face now. It looks kind of goofy now that I'm looking at it. But the Duck Hunt figure looks very amazing. I only got this for $15 and I'm surprised because, you know... This figure comes in a three-pack, and that three-pack is very rare. 
So I just want to know why does it cost fifteen dollars? But nonetheless, awesome deal getting duck hunt at the same location. I love duck hunt, and I was like, like, does that actually say fifteen? Like I was like, does that actually say that? And it did. So I'm glad I got it. And he's one of my mains I use in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and Wii U and 3DS. Oh, yeah, speaking of 3DS, I did get the newest Smash Bros. 3DS at the third stop and the Mario Kart 7 at the same stop. So I got some new games for my 3DS. So I can't wait to try them out as an amiibo on that and Ultimate and Wii U if they let me. So. Now, let's get to our main point. What did we get? Oh, yeah. We got the lot of figurines. Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi multi-pack. Green, blue, white, yellow, and black Yoshi. The only one I don't have as a plush is yellow Yoshi. The rest of them I do have as a plush. I don't know if you ever seen him on my show. I don't think he ever came out on my show. But I do have him. And you know what? I'm, I might just like start making like little shorts about the Yoshis. Little shorts about Mario and others, too. In my free time, I'll just make, like, little five-minute videos, maybe, probably. And post them on my second channel. So, again, check it out. Link's in the description. But, here we go. We also have our main Yoshi, who's voiced by Prince V. Yeah. So, Prince voices that one. Um, I think I voiced the other ones. The Giga Chad White Yoshi, the one that owns that hotel, or the one that got, got him around for the hotel. Y'all remember, and you're coming to this channel. And last but not least, Black Yoshi. We all know him from SML. He's the coolest one, okay? He is the coolest one. Yellow Yoshi. We, we'll figure it out as soon as we get that plush. And Light Blue Yoshi. He's like the youngest Yoshi. That's all I want to say. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we're going to open it up and see what these figures do. Oh, almost forgot to mention the back of the box. Super Mario. Yoshi, Mo <laughs> Yoshi multi back Yoshi, that's dumb. Expand your Mario world with this family of Yoshi figures. Coming in variety of colors. Each Yoshi figure is highly detailed and posable. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little tired, guys. I just woke up. Um, but I'm still tired. White Yoshi. Green Yoshi. Yellow Yoshi. Black Yoshi. And Lively Yoshi, official Nintendo licensed product. Now let's open up the box. Alright, with that dumb box out of the way, we do get a cute little diorama display, honestly, here. It is very, very cute. You see all the Mario hills in the background and the grass and everything? Everything is amazing, and I'm glad it came with like a little diorama piece. That's pretty cool. Every figure is posable, so Yoshi can turn his head. One, two, one, two. Move his arms. One, you can move his other arm. One, so that's three, and then, ooh. I don't think they can move their legs. So they have three posability parts, the head and the arms. They cannot move their legs for some reason. That's strange. Light blue Yoshi here um, is pretty cool. I'm glad he's gonna be in the new Mario Wonder game. Along with Yellow Yoshi and Green Yoshi, the main one. Of course, he's going to be in the game. But um, they should have made this one, I think, the red one. And that would have been like a perfect Mario Wonder thing. But because these are going to be in the new Mario Wonder. If, if y'all didn't know, they're going to be in the new Mario Wonder. And White Yoshi, obviously, no one really talks about him, honestly. So I try to get all the Yoshis that no one really talks about. Like... Black and white Yoshi. No one talks about them. Seriously. Except, well, they talk about him because he's from Super Mario Logan, obviously. No one talks about white Yoshi, though. No one cares for him, I guess, because he's kind of dull. He's like a dull gray and whatever. But in my show, I kind of made him have this, like, personality of, like, he cheats all the time. But all he really wanted was just a friend. That's it. Um, Black Yoshi is, like, the cool guy, you know. He's the... He's Mario's best friend, and he cares about all his friends, except for Princess Peach, because he literally hates her. But, yeah. Uh, Yellow Yoshi, haven't developed his character in the show. So, Light Blue Yoshi, youngest of the bunch, has a lot of growing up to do in order to be a fully mature Yoshi. 
but he has what it takes to save the Mushroom Kingdom. Yoshi, Green Yoshi, always forgotten in my show. Mario always forgets Yoshi. And when Yoshi tries to help out with other things, people just ignore him, act like he's a ghost, and he doesn't really do much in the show. But I am glad that I have a voice actor voicing this one. And Black Yoshi too, by Christian T. Christian T voices Black Yoshi. Now, Prince V voices Yoshi. And I think the rest are me. But, nonetheless, there we go. That is the Yoshi multi-pack. And that was all my birthday haul, and I can't tell you the rest because, you know, like I said, surprise characters. So, I'm not going to be able to tell you. Nah, I can't. So, anyways, without further ado, yeah, bye guys, Demi, Demi Tendo out. Sorry, I almost called myself Demi Ram again, like before. And I'll see you in the Mario Wonder gameplay video, my thoughts and explanation. I'm going to post that video too because I have footage of it playing it at store, so I'm going to make a video on that. Well, anyway, bye guys, have a good day. I'll see y'all later.